Thanks for tuning in another AudioTubes.com video. Today we're going to be matching some RCA black plate 6L6GCs. These are the real early ones. This pair was made for Remington Rand and they're date coded 1960. Whenever you buy power tubes like the 6L6GC for your amplifier, whether it's a guitar amp or a hi-fi amp, you want to be sure that the tubes have been matched not only uh, by GM or transconductance, but plate current draw. And it's important that they're matched by plate current draw under full load. And that's what we're going to be doing here on the Tektronix 576 Curve Tracer. We're running them at the RCA book rated voltage, plate voltage of 350 volts and the book rated uh, second grid or, or uh, screen grid of 250 volts. They're being done on a special test pad on the 576 curve tracer which allows you to plug in vacuum tubes and by means of the AB switch we can go back and forth and check the uh, actual plate current draw of each tube and compare the two. What we're going to do is make sure that we have 250 plate volts and that's really close. When they're under load it's going to drop down to just about 250 exactly. I'm sorry that's not plate volts, that's screen grid voltage as you can see here on the screen test pads. The heater of course for these tubes is 6.3 volts and we're supplying both of them 6.3 volts DC and we'll focus in on the screen of the curve tracer okay the tubes have had sufficient time to warm up we're going to first check uh, the tube on the left or tube A and we can see we've got a nice family of curves. We're showing all 10 curves at the same time. What that means is the tube is being run at the top at 0 volts grid bias at 350 plate volts and it's drawing at uh, 20 milliamps per division 120, 40, 60, 80, about 190 milliamps. We'll switch over to tube B and it's very very close right at zero volts grid bias we're also at about 190 milliamps now what this family of curves is telling us that each step is two volts per division starting at zero we go negative negative two four six eight and so forth all the way down to negative twenty which you might find in a typical amplifier a tube drawing about negative twenty uh, grid bias volts this one's drawing about forty milliamps and we switch back to the other tube and it's almost exactly the same 40 milliamps and you can see all of the negative grid biases from 0 down to minus 20 on the curve tracer at one time. That's what's important about testing tubes on a device such as this. You can get a more real world at 350 or even higher plate voltage comparison of the two tubes. Something that um, other companies that test on tube testers alone absolutely cannot do. Buying a matched pair of tubes that haven't been tested on something that runs the tubes at full plate voltage and, and screen grid, accurate screen grid voltages and negative biases is not going to exactly tell you the truth about how well the tubes are matched. Give us a call. AudioTubes.com on the web 847-496-4546. We'd like to match a set of tubes for you. Thank you.